Welcome back to Let's Stream Fatal Frame here on the Heavy Six channel today. Where we are in the mansion of Bale. Quite. <laughs> We're still in Chibikari's backyard. Uh -huh. Boo. Anyway, um, you probably want to increase the speed. You start entering the. Yeah, fuck. I lost my train of thought. Use the. You buy the next level for speed. You're yeah, probably gonna need it. It makes the next few it makes the next few battles a lot easier. And believe me it helps. Considering all I wanted to do was save for the freaking paralyzed lens. <laughs> oh well at least I got another lens I can actually use somewhat. Anyway, in the last episode we went to the to the freaking Hebrew shrine, and unfortunately we incurred this it's the it's the broken neck woman. One of the poor unfortunate victims that got killed in the um in the in the calamity. Well, she didn't exactly die for anything you believe, but um, more like she got out and ran around for life. So I think I know what I'm doing. Anyway, take her get her for a close shot. She's down. And it's not the final time you see her, cause. Well, I'm assuming she's purged in episode 3, or the final night. So anyway, moving straight on, we'll go back down, back from the goldfish room, back to the hallway. Oh god, Sucks. I am having such problems with this freaking doll mini bit here. Eesh. Unfortunately, since we go down here, yeah, guess who's back? Oh, this bitch. I don't like this one. Yeah, sadly what you have to do here is don't move around. I made that mistake once already. Yeah. But at least I got a zero shot out of it. Oh, yeah. And she does relapse with her two lenses and she's down. She's down for the kill. Not really. Well, she's not out. She's oh, fuck, I've got to the... When are you pretty... using the hidden door with the scroll? Oh wait, you're not there yet. I'm not there yet. Well, when you eventually do use it, it will only work if you go through that door with the side that has the scroll on it. Interesting. So if you want to go through that door again, you're going to have to go... After you first use it, you're going to have to go back through. Oh, joy. Thanks, Rob. Yay. Anyway, uh, moving down. Now, what was I doing at this point? I have um, just, no idea. I'm just thinking, where do I go next? Do I go back? Do I go to the rubble room? I think I'll go to the rubble room. Uh, oh yeah! Oh yeah! This is where this is where I get a bit of difficulty unlocking gate. Oh wait, you talking about the candle puzzle or the? No, the candle puzzle's coming up in after part 13, and I haven't got that bit yet. Because when you do the candle puzzle, it ends up triggering a freaking blind woman fight. So we we'll go. For, we're back in the rubble room. Uh, we're not saving, by the way. Just want to be sure. We're gonna go back through here because uh, we have the blue carving that we gained from the well. The blue carving is for this door here. And say hello to frustration, oh mine. To be honest, I messed this up quite a few times. I kind of figured. Anyway. Moving on, uh, this is where it gets difficult because I'm not sure how you do this, so don't be too surprised. I never did this bit before. Also, I get confused. Uh, you, you're just staring at the thing. What were you looking up in FQ? Uh, no. You were, weren't you? Yes. I had no choice. I get stuck. Oh, you've done Laura. it the wrong way around. I kind of big hit. Shit. Right, uh, I think this, this, it gets difficult when you do this bit entirely. Uh, so I'm trying to remember what you do first. You move this, then you do. Um, move? No, no. Yes. No. That one, then that, it's the. That one. No, yeah, not that one. Uh, 
I kind of, well, I don't know this most of this puzzle, so I think I actually got the solution in this one, so it's uh, this one. You move the fourth stone, move it up there. It's that. That. No. No, I think I fucked up here. Yeah, you have. Shit. Anyway, um... Right. Okay, let's try... Let's, I'm just thinking... This this, this door shouldn't be pr hard no, at all. I just suck at these puzzles. Uh, it's very easy. It's that one, then that one, mm -hmm. then the other one. You just literally go around in a circle. Yeah, and that... And of course, you do that. Oh, you're gonna hate the yes. one in the moon shrine door. Wait, the one that. Wait, the one in the garden? Yep. Ugh. Right, we're now with this long corridor. This is new. Also, there's a. Also, there's a uh, bro's shadow here. Which leads to a very interesting place, and of course, the objective of the fight of this night. I actually once built the whole mansion in Sims 2. Why did you build the whole Hebrew mansion in Sims 2? I don't know. I can imagine so. Okay, so... With my full years note, you're probably displaying this that uh, the ghosts are pulling him to the past, the spirits are using power to, perf to revert the parts of the mansion back to what they were. Mm -hmm. In other words, Kari, it's time warp. But we now know we have to go to another part. We have to go back to the abyss because that's where the purple carving is. Yeah, you're gonna need that. I believe I do. So head towards there. The fuck did I just say? There. I don't know. I don't. Know. I gotta stop doing TV, Gary. Okay. Okay, head back towards the uh, back to the uh, backyard or the Komodo pit, uh, where he went through this uh, whole uh, identify bit. Um, head down here, as it were. Uh, head towards the go. To, well, not head towards the moon shrine. No, 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 no. The moon shrine's different. That's that's unrelated to what we're doing. But I think you'll find out the true purpose of the moon shrine later. Mm -hmm. And it's a very grisly roof, if I remember right, very grisly. Well, not so, really. and it's, well, yeah. So anyway, there's a hidden ghost uh, down in this part. Oh, uh, by the way, you don't want to linger around too here. You'll trigger a uh, random ghost fight with the uh, with the bound man. So you don't want to do that, but if you could, just literally go as fast as you can through. Ah, yeah, that's exactly what I did here, because I didn't want to go up against another ghost, so... Despite the fact of him being an easy ghost to beat as well, which is the same ghost that we fought in the beginning, so... Mm -hmm. Head back up, head towards the end of the abyss. Uh, the, for some... We have a sacred water here, which is going to be useful. Very useful. As always. And he, head towards the end of this one. This is a gravestone. And it has a purple carving here. Which is going to be useful for later on. AK that AK when we go back later, so let's uh, finish this one up here. We head towards the uh now we're done, let's just head back towards the thing. Back towards the door. Uh we're done with the with the abyss for now. Well we're not done entirely, but I think we'll be coming back here in the future. Or we or unless I fight Yai. Yeah. That's gonna Ooh, be, uh, when I you love get, this cutscene. Oh, yeah, this bit here, you get the Observatory Man, which is, of course, a key instrumental character. And, of course, there's actually a very difficult hidden ghost here. Not hard when you have a good idea of what to do. Or if someone you gives go, you a warning ahead of that. Exactly. And it's Chibi Curry under a port. Oh, by the way, Howard, you've now got a chance to catch up. I'm actually watching a cutscene. Yay, it's the one I'm... where the blind woman gets blinded. Oh, I heard. Oh, I think I've seen that cutscene. Oh, to activate, you have to go where the mask 
pillars are. If you go to the one that's already on the wall at the back and then click on it, you should get the cutscene activated. Yeah, and I just and I just heard her, her getting blinded. And if I'm in the Dead Space 2 was bad enough with that bit with the eyeball. Ugh. Yeah, I just don't like having just don't like getting hit by, you know. So what is the purpose of the blinding mask, which is gonna be a key item that we have to pick up later? Anyway, we're reaching the end of the chapter for now because the next one is gonna be focused on getting to the demon mouth itself. So we get to we get to explain what the demon mouth is. Mm -hmm. So uh see you in the next episode folks. Bye for now.